word clavet classification this is also called climatic zones of word and the most famous climatologist who has classified the word climatic zones name is copen so this is also called copen's classification so copen has classified this climatic zones in the word the first classification was based on the augustan kendall's classification so which was based on the vegetation first climate classification was based on the vegetation cover and kendall was a french climatologist so he has classified word into different zones or on the basis of vegetation the word has been divided into five climatic zones using alphabet letter capital alphabet letter letter a b c d and e this a b c d and e classification it was first a climate e climate denotes mega thermal mega thermal means where temperature has been recorded high so this zone is denoted as tropical climate it is between 22 degree north to 22 degree south number 2 is b letter denotes xerophyte vegetation so that is dry climate c letter denotes mesothermal meso mesothermal zones are warm temperate zones warm temperate zones between 22 degree north to 44 degree north and south d climate denotes microthermal microthermal denotes cool temperate cool temperate zone or climate cool temperate zones and e climate denotes ecosthermal it is cold climate so this was the five letter used by it was used by kendall's so by expressing the climatic zones in the word as a b c d and e a b is mega thermal where temperature has been recorded high throughout the year and where seasonality is absent so that is a so it is tropical zone in this tropical zone so temperature has been recorded high throughout the year then after zero fight zero fight is the areas where the dry vegetation prevails or the dry climate condition prevails so we can denote this dry climate is a desert areas deserts of the world the c is mesothermal mesothermal means where temperature is relatively lesser and where warm temperate zone means the warm areas in the temperate zone right between the 22 to 44 degree latitude in both the hemisphere so this also includes some of the areas which are in the subtropical zones they are also microthermal microthermal means where temperature has been recorded relatively lesser cool temperate zone this is in the cool temperate zone where where temperate areas are relatively cooler than after there is hecistothermal hecistothermal means extreme cold condition where it prevails so that is cold climate like in the antarctica like in the greenland so this classification was made by it was made by the augustin kendall right so this is this was a uh, this was an important classification this was this classification was made by the in the 1824 then after the copen tried to explain the word climate or tried to 
divide the word climatic zones in the new pattern but following the same approach so what is its same approach Koppen's classification is based on temperature temperature is a key factor for determining climate and later he made the modification Koppen's added precipitation in climate classification so therefore his classification was based on primarily temperature and then precipitation so major classification has been done on the basis of temperature and subdivisions or minor classification was based on precipitation then after so he has used alphabet letter that a climate b climate c climate d climate and e climate as same of the kendall's classification e climate he says it is humid tropical climate so in this tropical climate this is winterless warm and moist throughout the year average temperature of coolest month is about 80 degrees celsius means when this coolest month will be there in the year so that temperature will be more than 80 degrees celsius means there is no as such of cold season prevails so this we find there in the 23 and half degree north to 23 and a half degree south in the tropical region as a copen has classified the climate on the basis of temperature is a major classification or broader classification and he has also divided this sub classification or the the classification has also been made on the basis of the precipitation that is a subdivisions or minor classification of the minor, the minor climatic regions so precipitation has also been a key factor for determining the climatic zones so on the basis of precipitation he has classified again or he has taken into consideration amount of rainfall and snowfall so for the precipitation he has used small alphabet letters that is f and w and s so f denotes rainfall or precipitation throughout the year means there will be 12 months precipitation then after f means there is seasonal rain but maximum precipitation occurs in summer season w denotes winter dry dry means precipitation occurs in summer season but less than monsoon climate so what is similarity here see similarity here is in this part their similarity is rainfall in this in the monsoon climate is in the summer season and in the w climatic region there is also rainfall is or precipitation in the summer season but the rainfall is lesser than monsoon climate so the winter dry winter dry means w climate region has a less rainfall than the monsoon climate then after s s is the summer dry summer dry means precipitation occurs in winter season amount of precipitation similar to w climatic zone now let us divide this all there in the respective climatic zones so a climate will be classified in again the four categories this is on the basis of precipitation so that if we go on their classification of a climate so a will be a f tropical region a f a m a w and a s so this is four classification in the tropical region so now see there on the map on this map so we find there a climate this is in the a f zone southeast asia this is a f zone right this is a f zone 
So this AF climate has been denoted as equatorial climate. Equatorial climate. Now see what is the characteristic of equatorial climate? We have discussed in the equatorial climatic zones. So equatorial climatic zone is characterized by high temperature. So that is mega thermal. So you remember this uh, uh, Kendall's classification, mega thermal. So mega thermal is a zone where temperature has been recorded high. And this has been found there in the equatorial zone between the 10 degree north to 10 degree south equatorial zone. So there in the equatorial zone, there is convectional rain. So convectional rain is also called 2 to 4 pm rain in the equatorial zone. So there is a convection and this process of the rising of air take place so that there is a there is a precipitation occurs every day in the time period of 2 to 4 pm. Then after or the equatorial zone is characterized by high precipitation. So in the climatic or the, the wind circulation, we discussed that there is a equatorial zone receives rainfall more than 250 centimeter. And equatorial rainfall is also characterized by high instability in atmosphere. This zone has humid condition. So in these areas, there, because of this humid condition, the vegetation cover, so their vegetation is equatorial rain forest. Equatorial rain forest are dense forest. These are broad leaf trees. These are thick and tall. Sunlight does not reach on surface. So that is why trees increase their height in order to fetch sunlight. Thus they are tall. So sometimes some trees they have the height up to 65 meters. They are such a tall trees. So as the sunlight does not reach on the surface, downgrowth is absent. Why it is absent? Because sunlight does not reach on surface. Right? Sunlight does not reach on the surface. That is responsible for the absence of downgrowth. Right? Then after. There in the equatorial zone, animal life are more associated with branches of trees. Means animals they live in the on the trees. Large size reptiles like uh, snake, anaconda like reptiles. They live in the equatorial zone. So anaconda has been found in the Amazon basin. So such forests we find there in. Southeast Asia, I will show this on the map. This is Southeast Asia, this is AF climate. Congo Basin of, of the Africa, this is AF. Amazon Basin of Brazil. East coast of Central America, AF. Right, so there is a convection of, convection process of trade winds. Where convergence of wind has been responsible for the heavy precipitation. Right, so there is a convectional rainfall. So this is equatorial rainforest. Equatorial rainforests are called selvas in Amazon or Brazil. So these are dense trees. Species of trees are mahogany, abony, rosewood, rosewood. So these are important varieties of trees. Then also this is green hurt. Green hurt is another variety. Cabinet wood and dye wood. They are the varieties of the equatorial lead forest. These forests have been growing there in multiple layers. Equatorial rain forest grow in multiple layers. Equatorial rainforest has been inhabited by tribes or these are known as pygmy tribe or sometimes you will find pygmies. Economic activity of these tribes is subsistence 
farming they are growing tea coffee tobacco they are growing tea coffee cup and tobacco bananas and uh, coconut and also they grow or they produce sugar right these are the important varieties so this is because of high amount of precipitation there are abundance of insects and flies the well known fly is called sese fly in this areas their life expectancy is very low among the tribal community so life expectancy very low that is about 45 years in this uh, equatorial rain forest deforestation is dangerous for natural environment and ecosystem why because dense forest they are rich biodiversity or complex biodiversity these forests are called lungs of earth because they maintain oxygen level oxygen level of planet so therefore brazil and ghana and congo they get aid for not cutting rain forest they get heavy aid for not cutting the rain forest because they have great significance these whole trees are they are hardwood trees because of heavy rainfall if heavy rainfall is there so there will be high humidity so humidity in this zone has been recorded 70 to 80 percent so that in this zone or in this climatic region driest month of the year driest month of year receives at least six centimeter rainfall so equatorial climate the forest get uh, rainfall throughout the year they do not shed leaves all together therefore called evergreen forest so this is an important characteristic of the equatorial climate or the equatorial forest this is af climate